I'm sure that we had some. Or is it... No, it's not there. Have we lost them? I suppose it's possibility. Oh, that's a possibility, but... I certainly hope that we didn't. Now there's going to be a ton of submarines down here, but we don't really need to... Well, I suppose we've got some islands that we are resupplying. Oh, actually. Uh, patrol. Patrol. And intercept. We found a fleet. Oh, um... Oh, bollocks, they did break that one. Okay, well... We're not going to let them take that. Should be taking this probably soon, right? Doesn't seem to be going all that well. The oh, 36 ships in here, including some battleships. Okay, um, this is bad. I think we mainly want to pull this back, or pull off from this combat as soon as possible. And instead start using something like, um, for example, this group. Do some naval strikes in here. Yeah, it is going to hurt a little bit. Oh, but Marat is... Yeah, Marat has been sank. Oh, and we sank one of the cruisers in here, apparently. So many... Ba <laughs> Actually, yeah, there's battleship in there, and then there's... I think... Is that heavy cruiser ours or theirs? No, that's ours. Uh, there's a pocket battleship. So it's basically just a lot of destroyers, uh, battleship, uh, the transports, and submarines. We got the torpedo boats arriving. Oh. Hold on, where is that? Is that something that we are under attack in? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, it was the 12th Armored Division in here, I think. Well, we're getting the infantry around here, at least. But there's a lot of divisions from Moscow attacking. Um, do we have troops that we could send in there? I mean, I suppose you could go there. And we've got more Katmandos armies here that are going to start clearing out the surroundings. Maybe you can go there. This could maybe get in here as well. But yeah, um, we lost... Oh wait, no, the pocket battleship, yeah, I gave the orders to retreat, so we didn't lose any ships there, although, well, the torpedo boats might be lost, in all fairness. Uh, how about you just rebase there? Oh yeah, we lost the torpedo boat. We are dealing some damage, at least. Yeah, we'll sank another one. Let's have a look. We lost the torpedo boats, we sank two destroyers and a cruiser, and I think it was the naval bombardment by these that did... I'll sink the battleship. Because I'm pretty sure that we did sink the battleship already. And that is basically the last bits of uh, the Soviet fleet. Well, they got some submarines somewhere. Still doing some strikes against us, but that's about it. Um, it's actually. I'm going to move the ones that are ready to move to the neighboring province. And then I'll wait for over there. Like, where do they need to go? Like, if they're part of Ansung's army, then I'm going to start sending them... Either over here or down here, just start cutting off it, this uh, section. Run the run the Alright, uh, thanks for stopping by, Alexander. Let's see, so we are pushing indeed through here. Is this. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, they sound not in a good shape. So we might not want to attack there quite yet. Uh, we're going to maybe attack there, give a bit of a support attack with the infantry tanks. There we go. So we're at least pushing the enemy away over here. Is this, this is part of my core, so I'm just going to send it near Stalingrad for now. The light infantry, on the other hand, can keep on moving. Um, this can keep moving. These apparently cannot keep moving because they are out of supplies. They have been moving a lot, and it's uh, kind of like a different area of um, responsibility right now for the supplies. But we have cleared out the pocket here, so that's going to free up a lot of troops. You know what? I'm going to send in the mechani or the mountaineers down here. So we can start pushing forward at least a little bit in here. And that might cause them to pull in some troops all the way ac around the Caspian Sea. But we have not cleared out these quite yet, so let's just pull or push forward. We should be taking this very soon. Oh, continental military power. Well, well. Oh, wait. Oh, did we lose enough planes or something that we... Or maybe we lost ships. 
Hold on. Um, did I go past it already or no? Oh yeah, we have less ships now for the global military power. So at least we get this modifier. Yeah, we just had enough ships for it. Yeah, it is indeed the ships. Oh, well, we're going to be getting the new cruisers soon. So it's not that bad. Yeah, that is going to be fine. How is this combat going? Not very quickly, but I think we are holding. We managed to hold that. This is also held. Oh, holding. We can maybe send in another one in there. Is this... They are going to be attacking there. Man, there's just so many troops. Oh, right. Yeah, we're bombing the troops going through here. Okay. Also, did we win the combat in the north? We did. Okay, finally some progress in here. We could technically try to attack here. But they've dug in so well that I don't know if we can, realistically speaking, break them. Maybe. But I wouldn't really count it. Or count on it. Uh, this is part of Master's Oh, right. This was the one that got shattered some time ago, wasn't it? Maybe. So at least it's recovered. Or maybe it wasn't shattered, but it just had to rest for a while. That's also a possibility. A very likely possibility at that. Right, so I think what we're going to do is... Um, Halfman's army is going to focus like clearing out the area north of Moscow. Mars is going to start pushing uh, northeast, kind of towards the Arkhangelsk area, at least somewhere around here. And then Antang is going to start clearing out Karelia. And then, of course... Um, Mastani is probably mostly going to hold the line here. I mean, taking what we can, but like the amount of troops that we have there is just so low right now that I think it's better for us to clear out this area first and then cut off this or cut off the railway off over here again. Technically speaking, there isn't really a railway, but like the, cut the enemy off from Muromansk and like then re-cut the pocket here. So we'll have a large pocket here in the south and then another pocket north to the Muromansk. And then we can Ansang and, and Mastane together can clear those out. We do have a bit of troops over here. Well, actually, a lot of these need... Well, we got some over here, but are these part of Halfman's? Yeah, this is mostly part of Halfman's army. Send them to Kalanen, and these are also part of Halfman's. I think Kalanen is going to be a good uh, recruit. Oh, Arkadak. Where is Arkadak? Down here, right. Is this part of... Uh, no, that's, yeah, that's part of Dentrosti's army again. Of course. Whenever there's an army that is uh, having division shatter, it's very likely to be Dentrosti's army right now. Or when there, whenever there's something shattering. Right, so this was part of Taz's army. I'm going to send you down to there. We've got another one over here, part of Piet's army. So that could go down to... Smolensk. And then we should have another one in here that is out of Dentrasi's army once again. I swear, there's probably like uh, one third of Dentrasi's army is on the move, trying to <laughs> go back to the front line. Maybe not quite that much, but still quite substantial amounts. Okay, time to break out that one. Is there a lot of troops in Stalingrad? I think there might be the two units still. How about we send you down to help defend there? Then how is this holding? Ooh. Well, it's kind of holding. Could maybe use a bit of a help there. Uh, right, so we're pushing those out. We're getting some troops in here. We got the mount... or oh, uh, paratrooper, sorry. In here. We could... Try to push them out from here. That's just NKV detachment and headquarters there. So that's not going to be very high defending. Or good at defending. How's the combat over here? Uh, we have gotten some pillboxes already. Well, one pillbox thus far. Should be doing okay in defending. Plus the bombardment that we're doing should make quite a difference. Ah, right. We've got another two divisions from us over here. Just keep on moving. The supply problems... Oh, yeah, we got quite a bit of places with our proper supplies. Well, it's a good thing that we're building the roads, but I'm not entirely sure if those roads are actually going to be sufficient. Like, we may have uh, gone past the roads uh, kind of reach that we're building right now. Uh, right, so this is part of Halfman's army. Let's send it somewhere around here. I 
think this is going to hold, but is this going to hold? That infantry division is going to pull back soon, but it's not going to shatter. There's just so many divisions attacking. Uh, what I could do... Oh, right, okay. Um, now I'm going to send these two over there. This one's going to get in here, and they, these two are also going to get in here. The idea is that we're going to start taking this and start kind of surrounding Moscow already. As much as possible. Okay, so we do at least delay the enemy in here. Ooh. Uh, okay, um, maybe we need to pull back from that combat. Yeah, we're just taking way too much casualties here. Um, do we have anything very high? Oh, we've got some divisions over here that could maybe help in there. You could put forward some troops over here. You know what? Oh, these are hills. Okay, so we might be able to advance in those quite nicely then. Oh, there's a headquarters in here. Well, well. Oh, a lot of uh, very low strength and organization divisions. Oh, we got these two divisions. Oh, yes, we're about to destroy these two. Give a bit of a support attack from all sides to break that faster. And we got a bit of... Uh, Reinforcements that we can reduce. Right, so the cruiser is going to be done soon. When is the carrier? So that's 11th of July. That's not too bad. So yeah, 10 days. We're going to get our carrier. Right, so that's holding. Is that? Uh, it's holding for now. That one is not going to hold. We'll pull back from there. But yeah, like this uh, part of the front is now where the enemy is focusing. Of course, that's mostly far away from any of the big cities. That kind of helps. Uh, you know what? You may want to pull back already. Are these? Yeah, these can probably attack now. I can get there. Let's go ahead and grab that province since there's no one in there. Not sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's not great for us, for sure. Over these north, got a lot of troops over here that could keep on moving. Do we have? Oh right, have no one in there. Well, that could be easily fixed. I just uh, want to have some troops on those. Um... Oh, I didn't realize that we have two divisions over here that we never moved. Whoops. And then we've got quite a bit of troops over here that we've never moved. Well, not moved today, I reckon. Uh, that one's holding for or recuperating for now. This attack should be just fine. So I'm at least going to re-block the gap here. There's only one division in Stalingrad right now. Is this holding? We've got two divisions in there. I think we're doing okay. I mean, we might want to send someone in there. Uh, but we don't really have a lot of troops to send in. Oh, right. Um... So why are we bombing again? We're bombing that. Uh, we got the troops over here. So these were part of... Un no, that's part of Mustard's army. They're going to go there and the other two are going to go down this way. Gonna start taking that one and maybe we could already get across the river. We could probably send in one of the close air support. Uh, is that... Yeah, that's been doing the ground attacks. So how about you do ground attacks in here now? If we can kind of link up over there, that'd be helpful. Oh! Okay, I was thinking some more enemy convoys. Excellent. That reminds me. Oh yeah, they don't need a convoy through here right now. But they are probably convoys going through that way. Oh, now they're doing counterattack here, but they are attacking into Arctic area, across the river. I don't think it's going to work. And they realize that as well. Is this holding? I think that's going to hold. Well, at least we've got one of the big cities. Uh, so, have they taken... No, I don't think they've taken a hit for the unity from losing Leningrad. I mean, it might be that it needs to take a while for the event to hit. Like, if there is kind of the vanilla event, then yes, they are going to lose some unity, I think. Oh, well, that's not going to hold. Is that... Move you there. Like, yeah, this area is just... We can't hold it right now. 
bit low on supplies and definitely low on uh, manpower in those divisions. Uh, are these in any better shape yet? Not really. How much do we need reinforcement? Oh, still almost 400. Oh boy. Um, that's not great. If I'm all honest. Not great at all. But I think over here we got some troops that can at least push forward near Moscow. Not causing some... Oh. Oh, bollocks. They shattered another Alpine division here. Okay, uh, you... I'm just going to let them get in there. We're just going to encircle them and destroy them that way. I want to have my revenge. Or at least I know that Taz wants to have his revenge against those bastards. Chattering his divisions. Ooh, expanded airbase. Um, do we need that? I don't know where that's going, to be fair. So that's under attack. Hey, we got higher popularity again. And then Clin. Okay, so it's down here. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some troops here. Actually, maybe not that one. They are bringing more troops or troops from other areas. Actually, no. Oh, bollocks, but we do need to... How soon are you, these troops in here? Tomorrow. I don't think we can hold this. Yeah, that's going to run out of organization already. Um, let's attack in there. Maybe get in here. Are these shattered? Well, actually, no, that one's good. So, yeah, this province is going to be lost, but at the same time, we might be able to take over some of the other surrounding provinces. For example, this one. There's the North Caucasus Front. Oh, wow. Why is that here? Well, rather, why was it here? It's not here anymore. And then troops over here. There's another few that we could move out. Already. So slowly but surely we're going to free up some of those troops. And this one... Going to be doing fine. Okay, so we won that combat. Can I have you move... Actually, no. Hold that one. If I'm... Even when we lose this one, that's going to cause some problems. We're going to lose it in about an hour or two. Oh, there we go. That. Oh, wait, no, that was a different one. Oh, wait, no, 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 it was that one. I was hoping that it wouldn't shatter, but... I guess that was uh, a fool's hope. This one, Parapiet's army. Let's send it down here somewhere. Uh, do we have... Um... We've got some troops over here, probably not enough. Uh, you're waiting for fuel. It's indeed a Tula. Oh, hello. Right, so they've got a massive amount of troops in here right now. Um, I guess it's going to be a bit of a counterattack time. If we don't let them uh, dig in there, we should be fine. The question is, can we get that one? Probably not yet. Are we getting through there? I think we are, slowly. Um, what do we have here? Oh, right, you are attacking into the stack there. That's not going well. I mean, you're not the only one attacking there, of course, but it's not going well. So we're just going to call off that attack. Uh, we could pull you back, send you in there instead. That's still holding... Still... Hmm. We may need to pull back from this one. Although I'd rather hold that as much... Or as long as possible. But for how long it's going to be possible, I don't know. Is that... Uh, it's... That's fine. This... Okay, the 66th Division needs to pull back. It was already moving it out of there. I guess. Wait. Uh, where are these attackers coming from? It's all coming from that one. Okay. So attacking that one would not really help with the issue. And over here, do we have... We do have medium tank destroyers. Actually, might be able to break that tank division here. Not going to attack into Corablino quite yet. That defense should be holding anyway. But if we can get to the river here, and maybe across the river, that'd be nice. Oh, right, we want the combat near Stalingrad at least. 
That's gonna probably cause some issues, but that's all for them rather, which would be preferable. Okay, so those need to rest. Did you get up here? Oh, hey, we did destroy the pocket as well. Right, let's get these troops in here. Get some infantry around here. Not going to start attacking quite yet. I want to encircle them first. Then we're going to start breaking the pocket, so to speak. We could actually give a bit of a support attack with the Mountaineers here. More direction we're attacking from, the better for us. Oh, agricultural industry. Oh, well, yeah, I'll take 100 manpower. Yes, please. Uh, the supplies, we don't need. we got plenty. Okay, so we are still eight days away from the carrier. Tend not to realize how slowly we are actually advancing in time here. Oh, there we go. Getting around Moscow. Actually, there might not be that many troops in Moscow right now. If we keep these busy with troops from... Well, um... Yeah, that's going to be attacking already. We could have you attack there as well. Is this attack going fine? Uh, maybe. Do we put a support attack there, and then this could maybe go around this way. Uh, is this connected to... It's only connected to these four provinces, so actually... Well, that tank division is not going to be in shape to attack anytime soon. I guess not going through there. Um, is there... Yeah, we can get our troops down here. And I think... Yeah, we can attack there. The Haldman's Corps is going to start pushing out a fair bit now. There's not that much troops on their way either. That should be quite helpful. Move you there. This is... Oh, uh, how about you just... Stay there, and then these troops can break out of that one. At least there is in Southern Joel, so there isn't... There's a hammer, but just no anvil, yeah. The hammer looking for nails. Oh, there we go. We want another combat in Yuma. Although these troops... Oh man, yeah, those need to just hold there for now. They keep on sending troops to attack us, but they keep on shattering by the looks of it. Well, we might, oh, right, so we have actually... This would be hilarious. If they moved most of their troops away from Moscow... Well, oh, there's still some troops there. Like, if we were to... Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a cunning plan here. So since we keep the nine divisions over here for the most part busy... Uh, do we have more troops that could attack? Maybe you. Um... So these won't be taking part in the combat in Moscow. The troops in Moscow aren't that numerous. And the troops that are in there are trying to counterattack now. So if we have our southern push over here, link up with all that, that would make quite a difference, I reckon. These can push forward. And how about we send in a tank over there? You go there, you can get into the forest next to Moscow because that heavy artillery is going to be really useful in attacking there. But like, we might be able to... Or, what they might do is, once we get in here, they'll just pull all of these troops back, because they r realize that they might get surrounded. Yeah, they're pulling all, a lot of the troops back already. There we go, we're sinking a bit more. Why are we sinking Soviet convoys here? I don't know, but we're sinking them. Not exactly the direction I thought they would be taking. Right, but at this stage, actually, we can send in these submarines up north. I start singing convoys all the way here. Actually, I suppose you could give a bit of a support attack there, right? These are under attack. Um, so right now we don't actually have quite as many attacks as the Soviets have counterattacks going on, but I think we'll be alright. Oh, we won the combat there. Uh, we're trying to get through this gap here. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, it's going through uh, Arkhangelsk right now, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe Murmansk. But like, I suppose, yeah, it's going through the channel and then going into America. So I actually kind of makes sense. Kind of. Alright, so there's the recon cavalry in there over here. Are we... Are we ready to start attacking in here? 
We could maybe list a lot of them at least a lot of it. There's not that much troops overall in here. Like most of this is just headquarters. It looks imposing, but it's actually not that bad. <laughs>